zo oh. zoom in. Oh, hello. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another vlog today. And annoyingly, it's um it's a vlog about my NAS. Now, if you guys remember back a little while ago, I actually unboxed a brand new NAS, the Drobo 5N2. Um, and that was because of all the issues that I was having with my software RAID array that I had previously with my computer. And so this whole new NAS was meant to essentially well, make everything easier and have nothing go wrong. Or at least that was the plan. And so as you can tell, me making this video today is because something has gone wrong. I don't know what's gone wrong or why it's gone wrong, but it has happened. So I thought I would show you what the problem is and hopefully well, hopefully show you the fix at some point. I mean, I'm not gonna probably get it fixed today I don't think but it will be fixed over time It could just be a faulty unit which does happen which would really suck because it's only been like probably like seven months Wow seven months. That's a long time. So probably probably about yeah six or so months that I've had the thing for so it's still under its warranty and stuff like that if, if it is actually a faulty device which it could very well be but um, Yeah, let's just I'm just gonna show you what it's doing so you can have an idea and understand what I'm having to deal with and why it's really annoying because all my videos and everything are saved on the NAS so I have no access to the videos that I've already edited and tons of other stuff that I need to access which sucks a lot but let me show you alrighty so here is the NAS just here that that's that little thing so that's it right there now it normally sits over there somewhere um, but I, I pulled it out here because I'm having issues with it so We've got all the drives in there and a few extras since um, we did the unboxing video. Just let me show you what happens. So I've got an ethernet cord just here. This ethernet cord definitely works because I was just using it in my computer just there and it works perfectly fine. So I'm going to whip this bad boy around here. I'm going to plug that in. There we go. So that is plugged in right there. So that's plugged into one of the ethernet ports. Now let me, let me find the power cable. Alright, now this is the power cable. This is obviously plugged in and working. I'm gonna plug it into the back here. It's in, it's burring, it's starting up. Now I'm gonna turn it on. So, when I turn it on, as you can see over here, we get lights. Now, put that back on. Now I am a bit colorblind, but essentially, we've got greeny yellow lights here that are all fine. They're okay. That All that means is that the drives are working and they're fine. This little light down here, which is green, which usually means everything's okay. But then this here, this little power button here, that's yellow, I believe. Yeah, it's yellow. So, essentially, if I put, ugh, pull this back, you'll see here that, as it says, our drives are fine. Our system is healthy. That's all cool. It's only this, whoa, get that back on. So then this here, this light is the main problem. So, what that is essentially saying, that little light there, is the fact that um, the device is in sleep mode. So it's like, it's, it's sleeping. It's not awake. It's just chilling it's like like when you put like a laptop and stuff like that to sleep mode you gotta hit it back on again before it starts up and starts working hence why we have no blue lights down the bottom there because normally there's blue lights to indicate how much storage you've used and stuff like that obviously there are no blue lights at all it's just that yellow light there so that means it's in sleep mode and how do you get it out of sleep mode i have no idea and apparently their support team doesn't either <laughs> because I sent them photos and they, they gave me a few things to try. So I've actually pulled out every single drive, booted it back up to see if it notices that there are no drives and it notices that, are, that there are no drives. But when I slap them all back in and start it up again, it does that again. No idea why. And then not only that, I, I wish I could like see it on my computer. Can't even see it on my computer. So in other words, like uh, when I use their software to try and see if I can notice the, um, the NAS on the network, it can't see it at all. So yeah, I, I'm in a sticky predicament because I need stuff that's on there and I need it to work and it's not working. And it's been like this for probably like a few weeks now because I've been busy with work and stuff like that and doing other stuff so I haven't really worried too much about it and now I finally sat down and been like man I really need to get this done because I need this and it's just it doesn't work and it's really depressing. Hopefully I'm gonna try and figure out what the issue is and let you guys know what the issue is or how I fix the issue. Um, which is gonna take forever for me, but should be a nice little quick edit for you guys. So, I'll see you when I have it fixed. Alrighty guys, and we're back. So, I basically jumped on my computer and got onto Drobo support and asked them what I should do with my Drobo to try and fix it, because, well, we're having the issue. Now, the first thing they uh, asked me to do was to remove all the drives, which I did. That's all the drives just there. And basically, plug it all in, turn it on, and see how you go. So, that's what we're gonna do now. I've got the drobo here. Ugh. Everything plugged in, and obviously, 
nothing inside. There's, there's no drives or anything in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick it on and we're gonna see, well, we're, we're gonna see if it fixes it and if I can view it on my computer or if I can't. And I'm not liking our chances because all the lights are the same. But just in case, I'm gonna launch the Drobo dashboard app like they said and see if I can view it. Okay, so it's looking for connected Drobos. We'll see if it finds it. If it does, you beauty. If it doesn't, which I don't think it will, then back to the drawing board. Alrighty guys, so I've left it running for a little bit of time here and as you can see, it is still the same. All the same lights are still not working. Not only that, if you can see there, I know it might be hard to read, but essentially the Drobo dashboard has been looking for Drobos for more than five minutes, but none were found. Basically, in other words, it's been searching for like five minutes or more and it still hasn't found the Drobo, even though I've taken all the drives out and done what they said. Since that hasn't worked, I got into contact with them again and they've given me one last ditch effort solution. This solution requires this here. It won't focus, that's fine. Basically, this is a paperclip. There is a reset button, well, a little reset switch down the back there that I can hit with this here. So what they've said is I need to power off the Drobo, leave all the drives out, shove in the paperclip, turn it back on and keep holding it there until the Drobo resets, which we should know by a little red light that pops up over here. After that, the Drobo dashboard should see it and if it doesn't, then it's a faulty unit and I should be able to get a replacement. If it does, it's all fixed, hunky-dory. So, fingers crossed it fixed itself because as much as I'd love to get a brand new Drobo, I'd rather just mine work so I can start using it again, to be honest. So, let's see, I'll go and power it off again. Let's see if we can get it to work using the paperclip reset method. Okay, so I have the paperclip and I'm going to shove it in the back and we're gonna watch and see if these lights actually flick and change. And this top light up here changes to red because if it does, then it's been reset hopefully and it should work. So, fingers crossed, let's see how we go. Holding the reset switch, I flicked it on. Let's see how this goes. It's a really long reset, apparently. It's also really hard to hold this clip in without unpressing it, if that makes sense. A few moments later. Still hasn't done it yet. Fingers really starting to hurt holding this in. <laughs> okay, so I was holding it for like four minutes there and nothing happened. So maybe I did this wrong. I'm gonna turn it off and try again, see how I go. But I don't know, it's not working.